saddest day of my life. Saddest time of my life. I mean, I was well, I'm from the old school. I mean, some of the youngsters took it like a duck out of water. No problem. Duck in water, I should say, sorry. But um, no, 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 it was, sad, say it was one of the saddest things I ever saw in my life. Yeah. I mean, for example, I was stationed at Santa Anne's head. And you could see Skokum in the smalls, and we had computers up there. Whereas the light would come in automatically on Skokum or smalls. Where the young, the young crew would just tap the button and carry on with what they were doing. Myself, I tapped the button, but I had to look at Skokum to see if the light came in. You know what I'm trying to say? I just couldn't. It took a long time, I think. It was a hell of a change in my life. This sends all the information on the lighthouse to Harwich, where everything is monitored through one computer. Uh, that computer operates and controls all the lights within the Trinity House's jurisdiction. And basically speaking, this is what has overtaken and replaced keepers. Uh, virtually just a microchip. It does the job of three keepers. It monitors everything just as we did. Um, and it's just as efficient, if not more efficient, dare I say it. It was a way of life. Um, and, I mean, some of them, some of the poor buggers have never worked since. You know, they, whether they couldn't fit into a normal way of working or whatever, I don't know. But, um, you know, a lot of them have... Uh, died um, you know pretty soon there, were, <laughs> there won't be many of us around anyway I don't think but uh, no I at the time when I made the decision to stay here and finish I thought have I made the right decision but now in retrospect I did make the right decision When I went down to Nash Point, uh, they still had the fog signal there, complete, entire, just as if it, it would just stop running, but yet it had been uh, made redundant for over a year. So I walked in this engine room, and keepers being keepers, they kept it clean and tidy, all the brass was still polished, and you felt as if you'd just go and start up, get this fog signal running. But of course it had been decommissioned by then. And walking into this just still engine room, you knew it was dead, had no further use for it, it was very, very sad. In a way, very sad indeed. And I think for a number of my colleagues felt the same way. We've spent so many years with all this equipment, maintaining it, to look after it. Then when automation came, it was just wham, that was it. No longer necessary, on the scrap heap. Very strange, very strange feeling altogether. <laughs>